Nerds like knowing who's the best at something, be it Batman vs Superman, power rankings in the Dragon Ball universe, or chess ELO. ELO formed in Birmingham in 1970 by Jeff Lynn and Roy ELO is now the dominant way that online matchmaking and ranking is done. If you've played an online game like League of Legends, Overwatch, Counter-Strike Go, or anything like that, you've probably been ranked with ELO, and probably been stuck in ELO hell, you noob. As this ranking system is so epic, I wondered why no one had done it with music yet. Finally, we can rank Dua Lipa with ELO, just like we do with Magnus Carlsen and that one pushy friend who keeps trying to get you to play League of Legends with him. Stop it, Declan. I don't want to. Do it. Do it. Do it. So on to the technical bits. First, I'm just going to explain what an API is real quick. An API is when websites let hackers make shortcuts and cool applications. Good websites have APIs. Rate Your Music is not a good website. This has been on their to-do list, rated as priority very high, since 2000 and actual nine. But I digress. How's my bot going to work? I'd build up a local database of albums that came out this year, and then I'd connect to Twitter's API and create a poll comparing two albums at random. Then after 24 hours, I'd see what the poll results were, and I'd declare a winner. Then, knowing the winner, I'd use the ELO algorithm to update the score for the two albums that were polled against each other. And then, after a certain period of time, we'd be able to perform the Did you know that ELO is not an acronym? That was the guy's name! That's a, a man. Did I encounter any bullshit while I was making this bot? Yes! This is the official Twitter documentation. Polls are only available in ads. <coughs> but it's okay because straw poll exists. Did you know that there's a strawpoll.me and a strawpoll.com? Fuck strawpoll.com. All my homies hate strawpoll.com. Aside from the bullshit about polls being only for advertisers, Twitter's API is well documented and very easy to use. Strawpoll, on the other hand, had me frustrated for about 24 hours until I found someone with a 2B avatar on GitHub who'd suggested a fix in the issues section. Thank you, Puckzix. Thank you. To build up my database of albums, I'm going to be using something called SQL. It's a little bit like Microsoft Excel, except somehow messier, and you have to imagine the tables. I populated my database of albums by just eyeballing what I thought was interesting from this year. Who needs methodology when you have less than 100 subscribers? Then I wrote some code that pulls two entries out at random. It then sends these selected album names to strawpoll.me as a JSON object. JSON! Then, when we've got our poll URL, we take that, go to Twitter, and post. I wrote some code to automate this, but better than that, I found a stock image of a dabbing robot to use for the profile picture. You take your script, and then you BAP! And then would you look at that, we've got a new one! So when you have a working script, what you want to do is create a scheduler that'll run it every hour, and then you run the scheduler in the background of your laptop and leave that going for a few weeks, except for if your laptop restarts and you completely forget about it and then the bot is down for like three days. So I've been running this bot for a few weeks now, and uh, let's take a look at what the scores are like. We can see that Jeff Parker is the worst. Uh, best New Music clearly not doing him any favours. Yeah. Followed by Kesha and Tycho, so... That's about what I'd expect. Eternal Attack, uh, Princess Nokia. Uh, I think the strange ones in the lower half are, I, I'd think Rina Sawayama would be doing better. These ones probably have maybe like only drawn. If you get a draw, it means there's no change. So then we see the stuff that's kind of doing above average. So we've got uh, Tennis, Childish Gambino, Porridge Radio, 
Dogleg, The Weekend, Thundercat. Uh, Tame Impala's doing a bit better than I thought it would. I thought that album was really quite boring. Dan Deacon at number one, and listen, that Dan Deacon is number one. That's the best album of the year so far. Eve Tumor, Planet 1999, HMLTD, Dua Lipa, The Strokes, Against All Logic, Arca, Fiona Apple. Yeah, I can't disagree with this. Uh, Tops is a really nice album. I don't know if you've listened to this. Kind of sounds like Fleetwood Mac. Uh, that shopping record was pretty nice. Although all the shopping albums sound the same. <laughs> same could be said for Caribou, I suppose. Yeah, overall this is kind, kind of agreeable. And that about wraps it up. The bot is still running, so if you want to participate in this ongoing experiment, follow it on Twitter and make sure to interact with it. There'll be some more content regarding the results coming up, and uh, subscribe! See you later. Bye bye.